Now we look at example 2. This is the derivative of a rational function using the first principle of differentiation. So the first uh, principle of differentiation also means at the definition of derivative, the same thing. So first you can see that in this question, find the derivative of y is equal to x over 1 minus 3x. Find the derivative of y by using first principle of differentiation. So since this question is using y, so when we differentiate, suppose we should have dy over dx. The same formula we are going to use, which is limit when h approach 0, fx plus h minus fx over h. So let's say our fx or our, so I let fx equal to the given function which is x of over 1 minus 3x so i change y to fx so if f x plus h so here suppose will become x plus h over 1 minus 3 against this x we change to x plus h then we substitute into the formula dy dx is equal to the limit when h approach 0. First, fx plus h. So fx plus h is x plus h over 1 minus 3 x plus h minus fx which is x over 1 minus 3x over h so first from the division which is over h i move up to the numerator so it will become dy dx is equals to limit when h approach 0 x plus h over 1 minus 3 x plus h minus x over 1 minus 3 x multiply by 1 over h before this is actually is h over 1 so when we change to division it will become 1 over h next we try to combine this fraction so how are we going to combine this fraction for this one we will multiply with 1 minus 3x same as the numerator multiply by 1 minus 3x whereas for the right hand side we will multiply with 1 minus 3x plus h same as the numerator multiply by 1 minus 3 times x plus h so from this side, limit when h approach 0, for this side, I should have x plus h multiply by 1 minus 3x over 1 minus 3 in the bracket x plus h. multiply by 1 minus 3x times x in the bracket 1 minus 3 x plus h over so here is let's say arrange as the left hand side 1 minus 3 x plus h times 1 minus 3x so all of this multiply by 1 over h. You can see that from here, we have the same denominator. So we, if we have this, so sorry, here is minus. Here is minus. So from this part, we can see that we have the same denominator. 
so if we have the same denominator we can combine the denominator so next step limit when h approach 0 so from here I can try to expand x times 1 x x times negative 3x negative 3x squared h times 1 h h times negative 3x negative 3 h x minus x times 1 x negative x times 3x so it's positive 3x in the bracket x plus h over so this one h i can put in the front here is the h so i put a bracket 1 minus 3 x plus h so this one i change the bracket let's say here is the bracket and then 1 times 1 minus 3x so we can combine the we can combine the denominator so limit when h approach 0 x minus 3x squared plus h minus 3hx minus x plus 3x squared plus 3hx over so here i can put h in the bracket 1 minus 3x plus h 1 minus 3x so now we try to simplify here we have positive x minus x next let's say use green color here we have 3 negative 3x squared positive 3x squared next I have negative 3hx positive 3hx so what I have here is only h so for the numerator we only have h so next let's say I put in here is equals to limit when h approach 0 so for the numerator we have h whereas for the denominator we have h in the bracket 1 minus 3 x plus h so times 1 minus 3 x so now we can simplify so next we can simplify here is 1 here is 1 so next we substitute the value of h uh, we substitute h with the value of 0 so 1 over 1 minus 3 x plus h is 0 so h is 0 close the bracket and then 1 minus 3 x so here is 1 over 1 minus 3 x times 1 minus 3 x so finally here is 1 over 1 minus 3 x squared so here is the uh, definition derivative of rational function by using first principle of differentiation